All right, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is some t watercolor tape or basically this is just washi tape. So um, if you have washi tape, get that. This is, it's the same thing, but they're called two different names. This is gonna make sure that we kind of stay in between this rectangle that we create. So put the washi tape on your paper and create a rectangle. All right, so we have our rectangle and then we're just going to make different shapes in here. So lay out the tape however you want. You just wanna make sure that you are creating shapes. So I have a triangle right here and then I'm gonna make another triangle right here. And they don't all have to be triangles. They can be whatever random shape you wanna make but this will be really satisfying when we go ahead and take all of this washi tape off. One thing I do wanna mention that if you are making the tape come down and it crosses over like this, you are taking away the three corners to your triangle, so just rip this off so that you get a nice shape here. Okay, now that we have all our shapes, we're gonna mix up some colors. Now, you can do whatever your favorite colors are. You could do a palette of all warm colors. You can do a palette of all cool colors. You can do contrasting colors. For me, I love the colors of peach and a teal aqua color. So I'm gonna mix that color up now, but feel free to mix up any color that you want. If you do wanna mix up the peach, I'm using Opera Rose a little bit of Scarlet Lake and lemon yellow and yellow ochre. And if you wanna mix up a kind of aqua color, I'm using turquoise and I'm gonna bring in some sap green. Maybe some cobalt and just keep playing with those ratios until I get the color I want. Okay, oops. Blot that off. And now I'm just going to fill, or dry off my brush a little bit, and I'm gonna pull in this aqua color and just start painting. Make sure you have enough water on your brush. You don't have to outline anything first. This is all about just painting in these squares. I'm sorry, not squares, triangles. And maybe some you do a lot lighter because you want some variation here. So just add more water if you wanna make it lighter. Then maybe you want one that's really, really dark over here. And it's okay if they're really close to each other. Then I'm gonna switch to my peachy color and fill it in over here. And the washi tape is going to keep the water from, and the paint from getting all over the place. I'm gonna add a little more pink to a couple other ones. Like maybe this one's more pink. Don't be afraid to add more water. Maybe this one's more dark. Okay, now we're gonna wait for this to dry and we'll be able to pull off the washi tape. Now that your painting is dry, here's the most satisfying part of this. We get to pull off all the washi tape. And there's really no method to this, just pull it off. Okay. 
And there you have it. We have an abstract piece. One thing I do want to mention is if you do this with thinner washi tape, maybe one that's only a centimeter thick, it'll give it a totally different look. And I actually like it when it's thin, when they're a little bit thinner. I think you can get it to look a little more interesting, but I just wanted to show you how you're able to do this. Super satisfying to tear it off. Make sure it's dry. It wasn't dry here, so that's why I got that. But enjoy. I hope you guys test this out on your own. Let me know how you liked the tutorial in the comments below.